Hi, I'm Crystal Smith, and I have an ASE G1 test prep question for you. After an engine oil and filter service, a technician can't get the oil pressure warning light to go out after 10 seconds of running. What is most likely the cause of this issue? Is it A, the oil filter, B, the wrong viscosity oil installed, C, all the oil has run out of the pump, or D, air trapped in the pressure sensor? This video is sponsored by Fram, manufacturers of high quality filters since 1934. Visit fram.com to learn more. The correct answer is C. Although it's not common, it is very possible that the oil pump may lose its prime during the oil change. When new motor oil is installed, the pump's pickup tube inlet becomes submerged again, trapping air in the tube on the suction side of the pump. Sometimes you can avoid this problem by limiting the time the oil is drained. The trapped air will cause cavitation of the pump and prevent it from producing oil flow and pressure. Many techs tend to blame this on the oil filter and assume that it's blocking all the oil flow. The point being made is that the oil filter was not the problem and in most cases, there's a simpler solution. If after the oil and filter change, the red light or low oil pressure light remains on for 10 seconds, shut the engine off, remove the oil filter, and using an oil squirt can with the correct motor oil, squirt several times into the oil filter base outlet on the engine. Next, fill the filter with new motor oil and reinstall. Start the engine and check for oil pressure. In most cases, the problem will be solved. Do not allow the engine to run for more than 10 seconds without oil pressure. Use a wash to time the 10 seconds and be sure of the elapsed time. In some instances, the full 10 seconds is needed for the pump to recover oil flow. If this fails, remove the filter again and crank the engine until oil spills from the engine base. Do not crank over 10 seconds at a time. When oil spills, reinstall the oil filter, correct the oil level, and restart the engine. Oil pressure should be back to normal. This has been your ASE G1 test prep with tomorrow's technician. See you next time.